Morena, what a rapper. On this lovely Thursday morning, spring is here. This is Rob Manstall bringing you MMP for the middle of September. This week is Maori Language Week, and I'd like to spend a little bit of time uh, just reminding you that we still have some days to go. Uh, I can tell you a little bit of what's been happening in this week, and I'd like to um, read a little bit from Ellie Hill's article in the midweek, uh, an editorial titled Maori Language Week. Next week we have Mental Health Awareness Week, so I'm going to lead into that, uh, tell you a little bit about what's on over the weekend, particularly with the equinox, the spring equinox that is on Sunday. And I've got some music to play for you as usual. This morning I have no guests, I've tried to get people to come, uh, particularly to talk about Māori Language Week. Uh, but I was not able to snare anybody, so you've just got me this morning, and we're going to have a good time. Uh, just to uh, begin, I'd like to uh, start with some music uh, from Stan Walker. with Aotearoa and sadly we didn't have the images that went with that he's done an amazing video um, letters of the word Aotearoa coming across beaches and mountains and people dancing and it was a wonderful clip uh, anyway we're going to have images from our street outside while we have music this morning 
Um, so Maori Language Week uh, continues through till Saturday or Sunday, and um, the students at Makora had a, a wonderful event uh, earlier in the week. Um, just to remind you, Maori language um, became official in 1987, which is not that long ago. Um, oh yes, okay, Michael's sorting me out here. Um, and a language commission was established in the same year to promote Te Reo. Uh, the commission now has a goal of having one million Te Reo Maori speakers by 2040 in order to safeguard the language. Uh, we're tracking quite well according to this plan. Um, in 2018 about 185,000, roughly 4% of our population, could speak uh, Te Reo. The four most common ways of learning Te Reo uh, are listening, uh, speaking with relatives and friends and neighbours going to hui, listening to te reo Māori being spoken, teaching yourself, listening and speaking to parents and other people living at home. So uh, there's, there's many ways into it and I can assure you it's uh, uh, a wonderful world to enter and of course for, for many of you it's, it's, it's your world. Uh, I think it's very sad that historically we haven't valued Māori, but of course it's been kept alive um, by the people whose language it is. And now for us who are uh, visitors, newcomers perhaps, um, it's a wonderful opportunity to, to join you. Um, and I must admit I plan to do this. I'm uh, not exactly in the middle stages of my life, but I will have some years ahead to, to learn and enjoy. Um, the experience of, of Māori. So our events for the coming seven days, I can let you know some of these. Um, last uh, week we talked about the exhibition at Aratoi of the Michael Cooper photographs, which David Headley's put on. There's also an Art of Weaving exhibition at Aratoi, and then there's the, the large community art exhibition, uh, Kota Hitangi, Coming Together, which shows works of art from uh, many of the organisations that are promoting art and even selling art. There are galleries, the, the King Street Artworks have a display there, uh, New Zealand Pacific Studio has some of its artists' work on display and, and many others. So do take some time and go and have a look in the main gallery at Aratoi for a spectacular uh, exhibition. Um, going through the list of, of things that are coming up in the next seven days, we've got the Masterton Variety Club practice in Albert Street. Uh, 10 until noon on Friday, that's tomorrow. The 18th, Eric McEwen and Doreen Wakefield are the contacts for that, the Masterton Variety Club. There's Needlework and Craft Drop-In, 10 a.m. to noon, at the Featherston Community Centre, also on Friday, the uh, 18th of September. Uh, something that might interest you home craftspeople, a cloth collective sewing workshop, also in Featherston on Friday, uh, 10 to 2. So that's going to be taking place at the same time as needlework and craft drop-in. So there should be quite a gang of you getting involved with that. Uh, the the Carterton Craft Market's on Friday, open, well it's actually open seven days, but they've made a note here that it's on Friday from 10 till 2 at 41 High Street North in Carterton. Uh, Greytown, there's music and movement for preschoolers uh, in keeping with our program, Move, Mingle and Play. We're very keen on anything to do with movement and it sounds like there's a fair bit of playing that involves, is involved in the Greytown mu music movement. That's on Friday, 
um, 10 o'clock at the St. Luke's Hall in Main Street. Saturday, so the fun starts with Hillbilly to Hard Rock, uh, 1 to 4.30 p.m. at Douglas Park School Hall. All are welcome, and I can assure you that will be a fun event. I think it's even play along, so bring your instruments and certainly your dancing shoes. That's a good way to get into Saturday afternoon. Those of you who aren't out of the sports field, or if you've been on the sports field and you still want to do a bit of moving and playing, head to Hillbilly to Hard Rock. Now one of the special events that I'm very enthusiastic about is the men's group which is doing an overnight in the wilderness. It's a Carterton-based men's group. And this Saturday, 4.30 on Saturday afternoon through to Sunday noon, uh, the intrepid trampers and campers from the men's group are heading out to... I think it's the Tararua Park at Holsworth. I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't say. But to register for that... You go onto a website, which is www.mensgroup.wairarapa.nz. Uh, that's the only contact I have here, but I think I'll come back to that. I've got some more information about that later in the program. But the men's group overnight in the wilderness this Saturday, linked up with a Thursday evening men's get-together that happens every week. And uh, I, I have got a notice about a men's group that's starting in Masterton because there seemed to be quite a need for men to get together, support each other, share their stories um, and build on their strengths. So there's a group starting in Masterton which is a spin-off from the Carterton group because about 10 or 12 men from Masterton were going regularly to the uh, Carterton event. So they've decided to start their own and that's a great thing especially thinking of Mental Health Awareness Week coming up next week. Um, we need each other, and if we have each other, we are much stronger mentally and emotionally, and we've got uh, healthy ways to sort out difficulties we might have to get some real help and not wait until it becomes uh, more of an illness which needs more serious attention. Um, so I'm going to move on to uh, a song that's uh, written by my dear friends Charles and Emily Looker. Uh, they're a band called Aro, and their album is called Manu, and it's bird songs. This is the song of the Tui. It's mine, it's mine, oh, I found my own prize. Oh, you can try, you can try. Oh. To get them my way, but you won't stay. Protecting the truth, found something good. You know it, cause you've got a conscience, conscience. Right, I know it too. Found something new, made it a home for me. Over I flew, found the best view. I know it, cause I've got a conscience, conscience. All for my own, hold on to my home Won't let it go for anyone else It's mine, it's mine, and I found my own price You can try, you can try to get them my way But you won't stay, you won't stay, you won't stay Cause I am stronger than you Woke up to the new Somebody knew where they could find what I found They captured the view and found the new tune I hear them singing from the place I've been And it's yours, it's yours, you found your voice They will try, they will try to break you apart But hold on to what you found, what you found Stronger than them Cause you are stronger than them 
to break you apart, but hold on to what you found. What you found, what you found. Cause you are stronger than. That's Manu, an album of bird songs by Aro. They're a wonderful couple who tour New Zealand. For a while there, they were living in a van, um, pretty brave, and they were very happy. And I met them at the Common Room in Hastings, where they did a wonderful set. And um, that's where I got hold of their album. And I'm looking forward to them coming through the wire wrapper and catching up with them again. So, what's on? We've got through Saturday. Have we said everything there is about Saturday? Um, pretty much. No, we haven't. There's the Tanui Craft Corner and Museum on Saturday. Actually, it's open Sunday as well. But that's worth knowing about, especially you folk out uh, on the East Coast. Don't forget your local craft corner and museum in Tanui. Um, on Saturday afternoon there's a weekly park run 5k run or walk measured timed and it's free starts at eight o'clock at woodside near the greytown rail trail you only have to register once and then you can just turn up and run or walk uh, there's probably even a way for the cyclists to be part of that so um, think of getting involved on Saturday, there are several start times by the look of it, 11.30 to 3.30, uh, and then on Sunday, 11.30 to 1.30. Um, actually, well, I'm getting mixed up here. This is the Martinborough Museum that's open Saturday, 11.30 to 3.30, and Sunday, 11.30 to 1.30. Always worth popping in on our local museums. You never know what memories will be tweaked what you will learn uh, and there's a lot of fascinating history that's represented in museums as well as the people who you can meet when you're uh, mingling and moving through such a place so on to Sunday um, if you're concerned about environmental matters um, come along and join conversations about climate, waste, water and other environmental issues. Share your feelings and concerns in a supportive, non-judgmental group. All welcome at the Wild Oats Cafe, 10.30am, organised by the Carterton Climate Community. Uh, three people involved there, Alison, Nick and Anne. Um, so turn up Wild Oats 10.30 on Sunday if you want to share your environmental concerns. So also this weekend, I should mention the uh, Spring Equinox Festival that's going to be held at Stonehenge. Uh, it starts about 7 o'clock. Um, let me find the actual details. And I know that it's going to be quite a festival. It's, it's not just Richard talking about things and then you wandering out into Stonehenge. There is actually going to be a celebration uh, starting at 6 o'clock. Um, and let me see, I've got this information somewhere here. Stonehenge. So you all know where Stonehenge is, up on Ahiarua Road in Carterton, a little bit of a hike out of Carterton on the road towards Martinborough, uh, well signposted. So if you can get up there for the uh, spring equinox, you will have a wonderful time. So, There's also the stargazing course on Saturday at Stonehenge. Hmm. 
I might have to correct myself on that. It looks like the Stonehenge, the actual equinox sunset, is on Wednesday the 23rd of September. So I think the celebration is on Sunday, but the actual equinox is on Wednesday. If you have any concerns and you want the accurate information, get in touch with Stonehenge Aotearoa. Uh, they've got a website, they're very available. Um, you can even phone them up and ask what, what's going on there. So I'm going to play you another song while I get myself organised here. Now this is going on from uh, a Maori orientated uh, musical piece to an Irish piece. And guess who this is? None other than, than Christy Moore. Lipstick. She wears stones and bones She tells me turned legend She sings rock and roll She wears chains of bondage She wears wings of hope She wears the gown of plenty Still it's hard to cope Creo, oh Creo, your heart is breaking Your eyes are red your song is blue Your poets underneath the window in despair They have been lovers of your sad tune Lovers of your slow air. And though they feed on what hurts you To sing the book of your heart Oh sweet black rose, how they've loved you And it's hard to, but they do wear a day do She keeps fools for counsel She keeps the wig and gown the plot in the bloody warfare The stars and the stripes and crown Still we pray for a better day now God willing it's for the best I've just seen the harp of the penny With a dollar on their naked breast Creo, oh Creo, your heart is breaking Your eyes are red, your song is blue Lipstick by the one and only Christy Moore And wasn't that acoustic guitar Played by Declan Sinnott Just amazing to listen to 
Um, so we're we're heading through to next week. Uh, one event that I should mention on Sunday that's probably worth taking note of is um, a talk on Sunday afternoon uh, at the Lansdowne. Whereabouts is it? It's at the Lansdowne Church in Totara Street, and. There's a wonderful speaker, Dr. Joan Taylor, who's a professor of Christian origins and Second Temple Judaism at King's College in London, presently a research fellow in the Department of Religious Studies at Victoria University. And she'll be giving a talk discussing the world of Jesus' time. In his teaching, he tackled crucial matters of his time and ours, the natural world, disease, ethics, trade and the role of political and religious elite. How can we translate his teaching for today and have it understood? That's the theme of her presentation on Sunday afternoon. Uh, there'll be two sessions, one beginning at two and ending at four. Uh, and well, I'm not sure how they'll have two sessions, but if you turn up at two o'clock at the Lansdowne Church, Totara Street, you'll find out all about it, and I'm sure there'll be room for everybody. So moving on to Monday, September the 21st. I think next week, with the emphasis on mental health, mental health awareness, we should think about the role of art in our lives and how therapeutic it can be. Art is not just about producing works of art. It's a process that people participate in. This is well known to the, the artists at King Street Artworks, uh, where there's a wonderful team of tutors and participants uh, and it's a very, very art-loving uh, environment uh, where there's lots of interaction and lots of encouragement to express your ideas and your imaginations artistically. Um, anyway, there are other artistic organisations, and one of them is um, taking a class, Watercolour for Beginners, at the Masterton Art Club on Victoria Street. And that's happening on Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning. And then in Featherston, in the evening, there is Art for Everyone. Featherston Community Centre, call Sandy, 021-157-4909, and she will enlighten you as to what's going on and when. 7 to 9 o'clock Monday evening. You probably can just turn up if you want to participate in that. Um, there's lots of things happening through Monday which are to do with exercise. There's fit clubs. Um, there's the gym, the play gym in the church hall in Masterton, St. James Church Hall. Um, the free community fit club in Carrington Park, Carterton. Um, so look out for these things. If, if you're keen to move and you like mingling, um, there are places you can go where uh, your health will be enhanced and your heart will be enriched. Um, this brings me on to Tuesday evening where we have uh, another dance fitness group, 6.30 to 7.30 in Featherston at the Farham House Hall. Um, that is repeated on Wednesday in the morning. Dance fitness for preschoolers and parents, uh, also at the Farham House Hall, Featherston. And Justine is organising that. Her phone number 0204 105 2830. I see the Cross Creek Blues Club is reappearing. On Wednesday, they get together at 7.15 with guests, artists, dinner from 5 o'clock. It's a mystery as to where they are meeting, but you can find out by going to the website 
Cross Creek Blues, capital C, capital C, capital B, dot co, dot NZ. So wonderful to see the Cross Creek Blues Club back in uh, action. Uh, that was a little extra about Wednesday, and I want to go back to Monday, where a musical event close to my heart, uh, a choir, and it's in Martinborough, led by Vic Jones. It meets at 7.15, goes through till 9, at the First Church Hall in Weld Street, Martinborough. The, her comment in this note is, we are an unauditioned, all-comers, primarily a cappella choir. So if you like singing, you like to mingle, um, and the music is, I think, pretty broad-ranged, what they tackle, but mostly in the gospel, folk, choral traditions, possibly even a little bit English madrigals, I'm not sure. Um, but we hope to meet them at the Tin Hut when they're going to come and perform for us in November at our Tin Hut Live, which is on the third Friday of the month. So look out for a notice about that in November. Also on Tuesday... The Featherston Wahini Singers, obviously in Featherston. The community centre in Featherston gets lots of use. And between 7 and 8.30pm on Tuesday the 22nd of September, the Wahini Singers will be there. The contact for that is Susan on 021-246-4884. Have we got any more music on the program? We do. The Wairapa Singers uh, meeting on Wednesday. Um, that's in Masterton. Um, it's more of a choral singing group, and they rehearse to do two performances each year. And the contact for that is Sean uh, Mulca Mulcahy, seven, uh, 379 9316. So Sean Mulcahy at 379 9316. If you want to find out about the Wairapa singers, I think they're pretty good from what I gather. They've been going together for a long time. They have high standards and their performances are spectacular. I should mention the performance that's currently uh, active, and that's at Wycole where they're doing an Elvis Presley uh, memory show, which apparently is fantastic. Uh, they've had big crowds um, with permission from the Ministry of Health to get together, so no one's breaking any rules, and that show goes through until Saturday night. So do ring Wycole, um office to get tickets for that. Well, I'm running out of uh, things to talk to you about, um, with Mental Health Awareness Week, I would like to mention um, a group of therapists who work together under the title of Diversional Therapy. Um, the four people who are mentioned in this um, report are Joe Hayes, Claire Woolston, Jeanette Griffiths, and Barbara Caffell. Uh, the Diversional Therapy uh, is a program that's running next week. Well, actually, it's a, it, it's a National Diversional and Recreational Therapy Week. So along with mental health awareness, um, there's a, a promotion of diversional therapy. And it highlights how recreational therapy, which utilises the activities of art and crafts, music, dance, indoor sports and exercises, pet therapy, gardening and reminiscing can be powerful tools. So the therapists uh, get together with the clients. I imagine it's group activity and depending on what you um, are inclined to get involved with, then you'll be invited to take part for a period of time. Um, your health needs are assessed and 
uh, the, with the process of the therapy, you obviously um, get a lot better, get a lot happier, uh, meet friends, and a lot of the difficulties that uh, have overwhelmed you will take a new perspective and hopefully slip into the past. So I'm going to wrap up the show in a couple of minutes after I've just mentioned a couple more of my favourite activities. Um, the Silver Ukulele Club. U ukulele playing in groups is one of my favourite activities. I haven't done a lot of it, but I do have three ukuleles. One is lent out at the moment, uh, and the other two are available to play, and people pop around, and we have been known to play ukuleles quite late at night. But the Silver Ukulele Club is on Wednesday between 1 and 3 p.m. Again, Featherston Community Centre. What a great hive of activity that place is. So Wednesday, 1 to 3, Silver Ukulele Club, called Jan, uh, 308 8556. I do have one more art event to no, uh, give you notice about. That's at the Masterton Art Club on Wednesday, 10 till 2. There are tutor, tutored classes available. So that's for, for you folk who want to improve your art. You're quite serious about painting and producing works of art, and you want to improve. I think the Masterton Art Club is the place to go. And then finally, there's a recreational walking club from 9.30 uh, in the morning, starting in the Essex Street car park. That's Wednesday the 23rd of September. This one probably happens every week. It might happen more often than once a week, but they've noticed that it's on Wednesday from 9.30. Um... I do want to mention a couple of other things that have just come to mind. One is the um, Cooking and Crafts Workshop at Sol Solway. That's S-O-U-L-W-A-Y, uh, which is a church in High Street. So Cooking and Crafts, again, things to do that help you feel better, help you connect with people and produce good food and useful things for the household. Um, there was a, a notice I had here about a gardening group, which I would like to find. Here we are. So yes, on Saturday, this is just coming back to this Saturday, the Green Fingers Gardening Group. And this is part of the Wairapa Community Centre activities. One to three o'clock this Saturday, the Green Fingers Gardening Group. And so learning to garden, uh, making time to garden, and from there, cooking food, which you've picked from your own garden. What could be better? It all plays into mental health. Uh, it all plays into physical health. And it plays into a little bit being able to entertain your friends and your family with good food and interesting recipes and wonderful flavors so the world is a uh, beckoning the world of creativity uh, good health and appreciating this wonderful environment we have in the wire wrapper um, um, maori our maori friends have been here for a long time uh, they have wonderful stories to tell about it. And I think it's great that the place names um, are being brought forward. The Maori place names are being uh, revisited in terms of um, an issue. Uh, not only how to pronounce the names, but that we should be naming places uh, for what they are. Because with the Maori names, there are stories which help us connect with the environment we're in and the particular place we're in. All of this is good for the soul. Anyway, we've come to the end of Move, Mingle and Play uh, for this week. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties. 
Uh, it's a continuing challenge here, which we enjoy. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm sure the challenge is going to go on. Uh, we are a radio show after all, so the most important thing is you've been able to hear my voice, not that you've been able to see me on a screen or uh, the video clips that go with some of the music I was going to play. Sadly, I had a couple of other clips that I was going to play, um, but when, when Stan did not appear, um, I decided to move on to the CDs that I had brought along. Anyway, lovely to talk to you. See you next week. Bye for now.